that I brought over from Oxford a, a man called Chenevix Trench, who was a zealot. He taught Gaelic in Oxford, and he came over, and uh, I invited him to stay at the in the tower. Well, the tower was entered by a ladder which gave in on the first floor, and the walls were about 14 feet thick. And in order to get light, we left in the summer the front door open. Joyce's bed was on the right-hand side, and mine was on the left. Uh, there was a circular shelf around the tower, about three feet deep. Now, Joyce went over to where one or two uh, would be on a clock dial. And he put his bed, though the walls were circular, his bed made a sort of little section, at least a little uh, straight line under the shelf, exposing the middle of the bed to all the things that were on the shelf as they fell off. About two in the morning, Trench, whom we didn't know very well, got a, a frightful nightmare screamed, there's the Black Panther, and produced a Colt revolver and shot off two bullets in the dark, greatly alarming Joyce. Well, I knew it was one of these nightmares that might recur, but I took the precaution of stealing the gun, the pistol, the revolver. And uh, uh, surely enough, Trench awoke in another 20 minutes and screamed again. And I said, I can take care of the menagerie. And I deliberately shot down the fish uh, uh, kettle and all the other tin cans that were over Joyce's bed. He rose solemnly, dressed himself in his faded trousers, pulled on his shirt and his white yachting cap and his tennis shoes, took his ash plant and left the tower and never came back. He mentions that in the, in the, the last third of Ulysses about the Black Panther, but it's rather a, a mysterious thing until you know the story that went before it.